2020. Enough is enough already. How much more can you take from the people? If you don't know, which you probably should know by now because of how much is trending, last night, August 28th, we got word that um, the Black Panther himself, Chadwick Boseman, passed due to colon cancer. And now this morning, August 29th, I hear that Cliff Robinson, a former NBA All-Star, also passed. Now, I'm going to admit, I'm not a sports fan, so I don't know, or I didn't know who Cliff Robinson was. But I'm going to acknowledge him and show respect here because I know that there's thousands and maybe even millions of people who knew who he was and loved him and loved the work that he did and followed his career with the NBA. Um, I did a quick research on him and I see that in 2017 he suffered from a stroke but then worked to regain uh, his function in the side of his body uh, that was affected by the stroke. I believe it was his left side. And they said that for a while he's been struggling with his health. And they are saying that they don't have the exact cause of death right now for him. And I, I can do more research into that to see if the, the cause is released. I don't know, but if you do know, let me know in the comments. But like I said, I, I didn't know him. I don't, you know, I didn't know um, of him before today. But I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there who do know him and followed his career and loved his work. And if you recall, earlier in this year, we also lost Kobe Bryant. Now, of course, I knew who Kobe Bryant was because everyone knew who Kobe Bryant was. Not saying that he was in a higher level than Cliff Robinson. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that there are some people I know of and some people I don't, but I am going to acknowledge them here. And then with Chadwick Boseman, uh, I did know of him. I knew of him from the Marvel movies, you know, with his role as Black Panther. And I did see 21 Bridges. I unfortunately have not seen 42, and I believe that was the movie that really brought him out into the level that he was in. And it was, you know, him bringing out the story of Jackie Robinson for us. So that's, uh, you know, he, he had a good career. He had a, an amazing career and one of history because there was a lot of talk within the role of Black Panther. You know, a lot of people saying different things about it. And that was a big deal because we didn't really see many minorities in these lead roles as superheroes. And, you know, he gave us that, but he also gave us the history of Jackie Robinson, you know, a big icon in history. So 2020, when is it going to be enough? You know, we have so much crap happening this year that is it going to end? You know, is, are things going to get better before the new year? I hope so. But at the same time, maybe I just think this year is going to be crappy till the end and then next year could be better. Hopefully it's not worse. I don't know. But it's definitely a sad time for anyone who's fans of these icons. Um, a sad time in the, the sports industry, in the film industry, and in the fan industry. You know, these guys, they had love all around. And it's certainly a sad time. And it's not something we need right now because of everything else that's going on. And I don't know, it, it, it's very heartbreaking. Um, as a fan of Chadwick Boseman, it's, it was shocking to hear that. And uh, if you don't know, he was battling uh, colon cancer for the last, I believe, four years. Um, there was actually that picture that came up a while ago. It was a few months ago that came up of him and he wasn't really looking too well. But he kept trying to ensure fans that, you know, don't worry, everything's okay. And, you know, it was his way of trying to hide it because I guess maybe he, he didn't want the fans to worry. He, you know, I guess he was that kind of guy where he wants you to have good feelings and, you know, cheer and good emotions. He doesn't want you to worry. And I get it. You know, you, you want your fans to be happy. You don't want your fans to be sad. And uh, the other side of it is it was a personal problem he was going through. So he most likely didn't want that to be public, and I understand that completely. But it is a very sad time, and um, I guess I'm going to put a moment of silence here uh, just to really show respect to these icons. So I'm going to put a moment of, moment of silence here for a little bit.
So I really hope that nothing else happens throughout the rest of the year. We're at the end of August, almost at September. So we're very close to the end of the year. And I think we can really make it to the end. We can push through and make it to the end of the year so we can kiss this crappy year goodbye and welcome a new year. And hopefully it'll be a better year. But hopefully we can do something to help make it a better year as well. Not sure what that is, but just the smallest um, action of good deed really makes a difference. And I know this isn't a tech video, but it is something that I wanted to talk about um, just to get my thoughts out there. It's very sad and a lot of us are hurting. And if you're going to be one of those people who comment saying, we don't know these people personally, so we shouldn't feel as affected as their families. Let me just say, we're probably not as hurt as the families of these people, but as the fans who love to see these guys in their element and what they do and who um, idolize these icons, it's hurtful for us because we need those role models that we can idolize so that we feel like there is hope out there that we feel like we can make it to be successful. Um, so yes, we're not as hurt as the families because there's no, we can't match that level of pain, but we still have these people we idolize that we hope are, will stick around longer. And it's unfortunate that this happened. So that's my video. Thank you for watching. I'm Anthony Olantuck and I'll see you guys on the next one.